Today's video is going to be about how I lighten the color of my Jazzmaster's gold anodized pickguard. In my previous video, I talked about how I ordered a gold anodized Jazzmaster pickguard from China. And in that video, I tell you about the quality of this pickguard, the dimensions, the material, and things like that. So one of the things I was not really happy about was the color. The color turned out to be a little bit more orangey than I would have liked it to be. So the idea or the goal was to make it more of a yellowy or a traditional gold type of color. So I don't really know how this happened, but at some point I feel like I've become a guitar chemist. What am I talking about? Well, I did a video about how I was able to darken the fretboard markers on my Stratocaster. If you're interested in that video, click up here on this eye and it'll take you to it. So what I was able to do is to make the sort of a white or cream colored fretboard markers a little bit more yellow or aged to go with the vintage and the relic look of the guitar. Now I haven't come across anybody on any kind of forum or YouTube that has done this. So I'm gonna go ahead and take credit for being the inventor of this method. Let that be my one claim to fame. I've also never seen this method that I'm gonna tell you about done to an anodized pickguard by anybody else. So I'll take credit for that too. The idea in itself was not original though. What I came across is that a lot of people in the RC car hobby, which is like a remote control car, a lot of the RC parts are anodized and sometimes people wanted to remove the anodizing and just get back to the aluminum. I also found a guy who did this with a yo-yo. But the difference in their method versus mine was that I just wanted to lighten the material, not completely strip it of the anodized color. I've also done a video about fretboard oils, kind of compared the ingredients of some of those. So check that out as well. It's also up here in the link. So now onto this pig guard lightning method. So thinking of ways to change the color of this gold anodized aluminum, I knew there really wasn't a, a way other than a chemical process or some kind of a de-anodizing or electrically charging the material. So I wasn't personally gonna mess around with any kind of electricity and liquid. So I thought a chemical method would be probably the most easy and the most straightforward. So let me step back a bit. I knew in order to chemically treat this pickguard, I was gonna to have to immerse it fully in the liquid or the chemicals. So I set out and trying to find some kind of container that I could do that with. I thought at first I could use one of my wife's glass baking dishes, but come find out the Jazzmaster pickguard is a lot bigger than most all of those, at least of the ones that we own. So I did not wanna go out and buy a new one because glass dishes are pretty expensive. They get up in the range of like 30 to 40 to $50. So then I just started looking around my local Walmart to see what I could find there. And so what I was able to find that would work dimensionally and that was cheap and that was pretty readily available was the sort of throwaway cooking trays that you know you would put maybe like a turkey in or barbecue, something like that. But guess what? Those are made out of aluminum, so I knew that this would not work. Some of the other things I came across and thought to try would be like some kind of storage container, plastic, Tupperware, but nothing really worked that would be inexpensive and I could kind of toss if I wanted to, but that would also be big enough to hold a Jazzmaster pickguard. So what I finally settled on was this. It is a litter box for your cat. I do not have a cat, but this is a great size for dousing a Jazzmaster pickguard. Now this is the large size and it does not have the dimensions on here, but I can tell you it's about 11 by 15 inches. And although I don't have the gold pickguard with me at the moment, I do have this tortoise shell one, and I can show you that it will fit in here, like so. Now the kitty litter box cost me about three bucks, and again, it's a great size, and it just works for doing something like this. So one of the products or the chemicals that I've employed in the past has been this. This is called the Works Toilet Bowl Cleaner. It's essentially about 9.5% hydrochloric acid. I use this quite a bit in relicking the metal hardware on my Stratocaster. And once again, if you're interested, Click up here to see some of those videos. Now this worked pretty great on the nickel and the chrome and the steel that made up the hardware for my Strat. So I thought maybe it would work for taking the paint off of the aluminum. Unfortunately, it did not. I'll show you a couple of clips of me trying to use this Works Toilet Bowl Cleaner to try to get the anodizing off of the pickguard. Initially, I was thinking that I would put the pickguard in the toilet bowl cleaner or the hydrochloric acid for a minute or two based on the videos that I had seen from other people doing this with anodized material. Now, in fact, it did not work after two minutes. It didn't work after four minutes. In fact, I left the pickguard and the hydrochloric acid for probably a couple of hours total. I did check on it very frequently just to make sure 
Now the only thing that the works really did was make some small scratches in the pickguard sort of stand out. When I got the pickguard, there were a few scratches that weren't really big, not really a big deal, barely visible at all. But leaving the pickguard in hydrochloric acid sort of made those scratches stand out more. I think it was because probably uh, on a microscopic level maybe or, or very minutely sort of maybe all the anodizing was already off of those spots and the actual bare aluminum reacted to the hydrochloric acid, I'm not sure. But all in all, I would not recommend using hydrochloric acid because it really didn't work. So a chemical used in one of these videos that I came across of people de-anodizing aluminum was this. This is rust stain remover by Wink. So what's the difference in this and the toilet bowl cleaner or the hydrochloric acid? Well, as far as I can tell, the active ingredient in this is hydrofluoric acid. Why does that work instead of hydrochloric acid on the anodized aluminum? I don't know, I'm not a chemist, I'm just a guitar chemist. But needless to say, I was successful in using this stuff and it worked pretty quickly. At first I wasn't sure it was gonna work. And as you'll be able to tell, I didn't get the best video footage of this because it happened a lot quicker than I thought it would. Essentially what happened is I sort of tested it with a glove on by sort of rubbing the pickguard and I noticed that the anodizing or the coloring was actually coming off. So then sort of in a panic I started taking it out and dipping it in water and going back and forth and sort of my saving grace in doing that was taking my gloved hand and sort of rubbing the pickguard in uh, in a lengthwise fashion, sort of from top to bottom of the pickguard, going across it as evenly as I could. And what that did was essentially take the coloring off in a pretty even pattern. Now in full disclosure, the pickguard did not come out perfectly. On the upper left-hand side of one of the bouts, there's some discoloration where uh, there's an area that's sort of lighter and then there's sort of a dark streak near where the Jazzmaster circuit is. And then on the right-hand side, there are a couple of places where there's a little bit of fading where again, the color is a little bit lighter. I'm gonna show you a few side-by-side -side clips of video that I took with the pickguard before I changed it, and then similar video that I took after. And again, I'm just gonna put these up side-by-side -side, and you'll be able to tell the difference in the color before and after. With you by my side, baby, it's all right. And you give me butterflies, baby, all right. But I'm a little shy. So what's the purpose in this video? Well, the point is, if you're gonna buy a Fender Gold Anodized Pickguard, it's gonna cost you anywhere from $80 to $100, if you can find one. I've done research recently, and I haven't been able to find one in stock anywhere. You might be able to find one used off of like Reverb.com, but they're probably gonna charge you even more because of supply and demand. So I was pretty happy with the end result, and again, you can get this pickguard from China, from eBay, for about $30. And if you're willing to try this method, you can also get it pretty close to the color that you want. I know it didn't turn out perfect, but it's pretty darn good for being a $30 pick card. Anyway, I really hope this helps somebody out there. If you're brave enough to try something like this, 
or maybe it'll just give you an idea to you know do something else to your guitar that in the end will make you want to play it more and be more pleased with the way it looks. Thanks for watching this video. Subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you in the next video.